everybody, I'm Jackie and welcome back to my channel for the love of dogs. In today's video, we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to groom a standard poodle. So in this video, the poodle that I'm doing, the owners of it do not like clean feet or really too much poodleness. Um, they do like a clean face. Um, they decided they didn't want it for a while and now they want a clean face again. So I figured I would make a video on that. Um, I will also be making a video using my own toy poodle on clean, clean face, clean feet, and shaving the base of their tail. Um, Cause I know that's a bit hard for a lot of people who are starting out or trying to do it at home. So I will make a separate video on how to do all of that specifically. Um, but this video is just kind of like a, a basic standard poodle groom without the clean feet, which doesn't look as good in my opinion, but I am not the dog's owner, so have to do what they want to do. And so you always go with the way the coat grows, um, never go reverse. Um, and you can also use how I do this dog, um, besides the clean face part, you can really watch this video to learn how to do any kind of curly dog. Um, I always use a number 30 blade underneath my guard combs. Um, I never use anything different. And if the dog is not fully brushed out and dried properly, which um, I will put a card over here um, or over here, wherever it ends up, um, on how to blow dry a curly dog. Um, this exact dog will be in the blow dry video, so you can see how to do that. Um, but if the dog is not properly brushed and blow dried right, you will not get your guard comb through the dog. You have to think that a guard comb is a comb. It's a comb attachment. So it is going to work like a comb and go through the dog's coat. And so if the dog is not properly brushed, properly dried and washed, then it is not going to just glide through the hair. So you need to be making sure you're using good products that are, you know, clean the dog and doesn't leave any residue. I use eye groom products. So you definitely wanna make sure the dog is nice and clean. And I always brush before I start blow drying and then brush after the dog is done blow drying. And then I brush if I'm putting the dog up and then getting it back out later, then I will brush again once I get it back out and it's on my table. And in the video, um, a lot of it I, and just filming my uh, husband because he does not like filming me um, <laughs> doing it. He thinks that he's not very good at filming, which part of it he did film me. Um, so I'm sorry if the quality isn't super good, but I, like I said, he filmed me for the clean face part. So I will do a separate video on how to do all that. So that's a bit easier for you. Um, and my scissors that I use, um, you cannot buy them online. I get them straight from the guy who sharpens my scissors and it's his brand, um, of scissor, but there, I will post links in the description, uh, to Amazon to similar sort of scissors and, um, all the brushes and everything I use, all of, um, my clippers and everything. I will put that all in the description and if you do like this video please hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay tuned to more grooming tips and also I have a whole um, playlist um, I have been doing the toy group I take everything from the AKC book and um, do each individual dog breed to help people figure out what dog breed is best for them to know everything there is to know about each dog breed so if that is something that interests you I will be doing more um, just every day breeds that I see, um, just more common ones. But without further ado, here is that video. 